In this video, you'll see how to continuously analyze metrics using Amazon CloudWatch Anomaly Detection. With this feature, you can apply machine learning algorithms to metric data to surface statistical anomalies automatically, freeing up administrators for other work. To begin using anomaly detection, we first need some metrics to analyze. Let's navigate to Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2, to launch an EC2 instance. The first step is to choose an Amazon Machine Image, or AMI. We'll select the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Let's use the selected instance type. We'll also keep the default configuration for the instance. Let's review and launch the instance. A key pair has already been created for us to use for anomaly detection. This will allow us to log into the EC2 instance via any SSH client of your choice. In this case, we'll be using PuTTY. The instance is now launching. Let's take a closer look at it. Now that the instance is running and has passed the status checks, let's give it a name. While we're here, we'll copy the public IP address and use it to log into the EC2 instance. Next, let's navigate to CloudWatch and view the EC2 metrics for this instance. Let's create an alarm for the CPU utilization metric. We can sort the list to find the metric quickly. First, we'll specify the metric's conditions. We'll change the threshold type to Anomaly Detection and leave the other settings as is. Next, we'll configure the actions for this alarm. Let's create a new Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS, topic that will receive notifications. We'll add an email address that can receive SNS notifications. An email notification will be sent asking if we want to subscribe to the topic. Next, let's add a name and description for the alarm. Now we can preview and create the alarm. The warning on the page reminds us to confirm the SNS subscription from our email. We'll take care of that behind the scenes. Now let's log into the EC2 instance and install software that will allow us to stress the server. Now that the software is installed, let's go ahead and run it. While the stress test is running, the CPU utilization metrics are collected. Let's take a look at the alarm we created. As you can see, the anomaly detection alarm currently has insufficient data. It needs a baseline of data before anomalies can be detected. Let's skip ahead a few hours. The alarm is now in OK status, indicating it has sufficient data to detect anomalies in CPU utilization. Let's return to the CPU utilization graph. We'll rerun the stress test to trigger an alarm. Let's skip ahead to after this has been done. Now we have an anomaly. By hovering over the graph, we can view its details. When an anomaly is detected, we'll receive an email notification that CPU utilization is greater than expected. As soon as utilization returns to the threshold we set, we'll receive another email to let us know. You've just seen how to continuously analyze metrics using Amazon CloudWatch Anomaly Detection. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.